which is I love this stage. I mean, there's a lot of stages in this game I love. Even the ones that I don't like too much, I still have some respect for. Thankfully, Mari Trans actually mulligans, like, quite possibly a horrendous hand to play here. But, well, that starter is very concerning. Because unless Mari Trans actually ma manages a way to disrupt that, that is going to be a guaranteed combo later. But it seems like Marie is trying to play defense here instead of actually going in. They don't have that good of inside cards to go for, but I... This is gonna be a rough one. They actually decided to go offensive with uh, Steelhead, and thankfully they do. And really important too, because that Pearl would have been really hard to defend unless you got super defensive. Well, now Mar Marie is actually trying to set up the hero shot and mm -hmm. try to get in. And she's definitely broken in at this point. Yegzu going in for an Overlorder play, just gunning it right now, recognizing the threat. And if he had not, that Overlorder play would have been cancelled. Very excellent catch on his part. Very strong plays as now he is trying to rush into Mary's base and successfully breaks through as the heavy splat theme. Such a good offensive card. Well, now it's a matter of Mar Marie now basically has to wrestle the board for them for herself. Like the bottom half is just hers. Uh, and now they're trying to decide to go for the splatter shot here. As they do have the, what is it? Ooh, ooh, really good splatter shot there. And thankfully it pays off because now they can just use their crack on and basically just get a free special point in 14 points at the bottom. But now it could be a situation that we have both players potentially breaking a lot. Like I could see Jengu actually playing a little bit on the right of their pearl, like left of their pearl. And maybe a little bit in their base, but I don't see Marie be able to play very many cards in any. Suction Bomb coming out as Mary's play, granting two special game, a bit of a refund off of it, and then some. Oh, we got two suction bombs. Mary's just being a little more simple and straightforward. Just a simple play that's looking to be comboed with something down the road. Yeah, which is right now with the Trash Slosher comboing for three special points out of it. Marie can actually also put down the, the Spatana Wiper and get so, as two special points out of it too. So these last two turns for Marie are going to be very beneficial. Django. Could have placed on top left, maybe, and they still have some plays in their base I could see coming. But Marie at least is going to be very comfortable playing the last two turns out. Ooh, that's rough. The score is exactly tied. They have both the same amount of special points and the amount of points here. So it's just a matter of who plays out the last turns better. Out comes the Earth Ooh. Sign Anomaly to start things strong, but it gets powered through by the Tri Strainer. It's still such a big card though, and that sets Yegzu in the lead. Mary has a much bigger follow-up play, but we've got a that is a 22 point inkjet. Yeah, the problem is that the Marie, the only card that actually could play out a little bit better is Joe. Unfortunately, Marie is one point short, so all those special points accumulated before that is overkill. And that is not something you want. You never want the overkill on your cards. You want to get, you want to use all your special by the final turn, if not maybe like any special you get from your final play. Unfortunately, she just did not have that big card she really needed in those final moments. And because of that, a near perfect, like, again, that inkjet was 22 points. Oh, that is really unfortunate for Marie in that game one. 
And game two is looking very interesting if we are going to go Mass Mansion. Mask Mansion? Ooh, we have not seen this stage yet. It's a... It, it's, it's like Sticky Thicket, but a lot more open-ended. It's a little awkward. But most people have come up with really good decks to play around this environment. These hallways and little paths and walls. Interestingly, uh, we see uh, um, Harmony from, from... What is it? From... What is it, Marie? And it's a card I really like, but I never seen it here. They're considering maybe actually putting some cards, interesting cards. They're going for a uh, hero shot, or maybe focus on left. While Yansu is actually trying to play. Oh, oh what oh, is that's the spicy? What 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 is Yansu going for here with that EL deal? There was a combo that would have guaranteed the EL deal special, but instead it's been placed all the way down in that corner. And I don't see oh, no. what the this thinking is, actually is looking, here. This is really looking bad for Yensu because if they don't break through, they're going to find themselves very locked out. And the very locked oh. out he is going to be as he plays a little Octo Stamp. Okay, I see oh, what no. the combo is. This is going to be a rough game here for uh, Yensu. Meanwhile, just uh, Marie has the entire board to her like is it is an open oyster at this point just like they can just do whatever they want indeed there's a lot of freedom for her to have here while yegzu's been slowly like setting up base combos like we've got a couple of plays oh, coming in from him he is gonna get some specials off of these but you never want to be in the situation. You never want to be in the situation that you have to you are, you have to combo and or because if he doesn't like Gensu doesn't find combo, they're gonna start passing. Yeah, talk and about box seats that here. Is giving a special point to Marie as well as just getting more blocked in. As this, uh, talk about box seats as this guy is boxed into his little space here. Could have had a nice little Tentatech combo to go with this reflux box. But unfortunately, the card was already spent. Understandably slow as he's been trying to find something to do. We've got five turns left. There's a 19 point deficit. All Yegzu has to his name is a one special advantage. But when you're 19 points behind... Or no, that's 20... No, that's 21 points. There's not much you can really... It doesn't do much. Now it's 26. Yeah, and I know Marie's trying to set up a combo there for later. They have the space to work with. They may as well just play like that. And the point gap is going to be wider and wider. Unless Yegzu has a strong play that he can make. They're going flat to the screen now. And it's not going to do it. I think this game just maybe, just the writing may be in the wall here. Marina is going to set up the Rap Splatter combo. They were set up earlier for three special points. And that is a, that is a 20, a 31 point gap here. So yeah, this game is so over. Oh? Although that is a four special point a rapid blaster echo. Ooh, that is a good harmony. Uh, wait. Oh wait, no, that that would bring things back. But like that would set that sets Yegzu up by two points advantage. But that literally requires Mary to have to pass here, or to not play a three Which point is not card. Which not the case, considering. As Marie has actually quite a few options here between going Dry Stringer or maybe going Ink Back. However, the, the Dry Stringer is not going to set up uh, for two special points to combo here, so they have to go for Ink Back here. That's definitely enough. That's absolutely enough. That Harmony was really good, but there's still such a big point disparity here. Oh, I didn't even realize that we were in turn last turn. I thought that we had one more turn to play, but 
No. Yeah, no. Even then. Really solid comeback effort from Yegzu, all things considered. But yeah, when you get bo boxed in like that, it's it's an uphill battle. It's just an uphill battle. Yes, indeed. Again, well, we're gonna move on to game three and see where are we going. There's many places on the board, many options still abor abroad, whatever the word is. Uh, and it's going to be Main Street. Okay. We are ending in Main Street rather than starting with it. That has been the trend for the, the last two games. But now we're actually just going for it. Ooh, that's a terrible mulligan for Trent Marie. Oh. Yikes. I like the hero shot placement, though. That is a very clean wall, uh, and actually, Yegzu doesn't have a good push option. Might be going for... Yeah, he's gonna try to push, but... Yeah, Mary is sectioned off. She actually has a way in. Yeah, but there, her way in is gonna be Splatana Wiper, followed by both 312s in hand and Tentatec. This hand is terrible. Wow! If Marie actually pulls this off, oh lord. Yaxu is really looking for a Kohozuna spot. I think uh, he is going to settle for a well string that is kind of a neutral play. Is just a combo piece. I don't, I don't think he has a play he's looking for. He doesn't, as Mary has pierced through this defense. Just going to well, go straight they, for the well string uh, now. Definitely... Okay, Maurice actually has, uh, what is it, the Spider Shot to push in. And now the good guard, the good big cards are actually appearing. Here, Here's a heavy deco to actually just play out on on the middle. Just to claim that chunk of middle left. Yegzu considering a little judge in hopes of stealing some space, some points. Looking for something a little advantageous, like trying to go for a hard read here. We'll have to see if that really pans out. I don't think it will. Unless he reads specifically but the heavy splat link. Well, yeah, it, it does pierce it through at the very least, but unfortunately it gives the special point to Marie here. But now we are- yeah, Marie's gonna set up for- uh, We're ahead, properly ahead, in base building phase now. Yeah, Marie is actually gonna use uh, a little just to combo with the her turn, their turn one uh, hero shot to combo for two special points. Gets a nice eight points. The custom E leader managing to secure some points. Did not want to go all the way forward in risk of granting war special to Mary, which. Very respectable, especially considering how hard it is to reach up there. I can imagine that that is definitely a good place. Uh, we've got a very aggressive Everyone's screen well. coming through, but it's going to be stopped it's by the Kohozuna. The they actually just put in Marie just doing the craziest combat I have seen in like that hand was awful i'm going to tell you the mulligan at least started with gozuna and had a bad and like a three like cards that weren't that great that is gonna like the fact that marie is actually playing through can mary break through incredible. yeah no you yeah, yeah she has Jordan, to make this play Jordan, and that is his flat charger doesn't fully break in but that's definitely caused a little bit of damage and Yegzu now in a position where we've got the nine points gained additional from the dropping the screen, but I mean, that's just balanced off by a single play. Mary now can drop like a 312, get a special off of that, and then play another 312. Where Yegzu, with three points lead, is bricked right now, has no choice but to pass. In comes the Ultra Stamp. That's a special. Oh, Mary, no. no. It gets truly worse. Oh yeah, no, it gets... Yeah. Yexu sees the writing yeah. on the wall and speed runs the, the surrender button. 
and honestly, good call because the other 312 Marie, ha Marie Trans had in hand was Spider Scholar's Creed, so they would be a perfect one oh. immediately. I am so glad that, uh, what is it? Uh, oh, sorry, that's the wrong button. That Gensu gave up there because, oh, there will be so much wars. Oh, dear lord. 